a QRP story by N8NK. I've been sitting here doing a little testing and playing and experimenting with my uh, antenna wire that's on the uh, bamboo sticks out there. And I've been thinking, um, not about that. I've been thinking about this and a story of mine. What I'm talking about is the bottom unit and sorry for the handheld video, but this is all about the story, not the video. That is my homebrew um, bi-directional watt meter uh, that indicates SWR. It's a design published. It's designed by W7 Echo Lima, Roy Luallen. And uh, the ARRL published that um, back in the early 90s. Uh, which is when I built that. And that's when the story takes place. That will play an important part of the story in a minute. Uh, the time frame was about 1990 or 1991. I was married. And we had a smallish home. We were just starting out. Now I need to show you something. Hang on. I'm going to pause this. I want to show you something. One moment. That is a Heathkit SB1400 transceiver. My wife and I, we had uh, three kids at the time, and I had a tiny little bathroom upstairs that I hijacked for my radio room. And Sherry, sweetheart that she was, didn't care if I gifted myself a, my first brand new transceiver, a commercial rig, and that's what I bought. And I used to love running QRP with it. And what I'd done was I disconnected the output section and connected it to my external power supply so that I could control the power output at ultra low power levels. Well, I made a contact with a ham in Argentina and my antenna was a 15 meter ground plane. It was on the 15 meter band and I'm just going to pan around a little bit while I tell my story. Look at you, let you look at a couple things. So I met this ham in Argentina on 15 meters near the QRP watering hole frequency. And I was running 5 watts. He was a QRP or two. I asked him if he'd mind if I turned down my power a little bit and have a little fun. And he said, no, let's. I'll do the same. So we started, oh, by the way, it was as if we were directly connected via a wire. When he was running 5 watts, he was well over S9. If my memory serves me right, he was like 10 dB over. It was crazy on 15 that day. I turned down my power supply as far as I could, and I was running about 3 quarters of a watt. And he said that I was armchair copy. And he did the same at the one watt level was the lowest he could go. He was still at times S9. So in desperation, wanting to try running less power, I disconnected the output section and looked at my watt meter to see if anything was bleeding through. And now this is where things going to get a little shaky because I'm going to pick up a pointer. I want to, if you don't think I'm a weirdo, I enjoy shortening pens. <laughs> Look at the scale. The lowest scale is 100 milliwatts, full scale. I'm going to try to the lowest range is 100 milliwatts full scale, right? 100 milliwatts full scale. 10 milliwatts. 5 milliwatts. 
with my output section disconnected, that needle was moving about halfway to the 5 milliwatt division. I was outputting about between 2 and 3 milliwatts, and he gave me an honest 579 from southern Argentina. That's my story as proof that this achievement occurred, I offer my words. My story is my proof. That's my QRP story. I hope you're well. I hope you enjoy your day. 73.